the United States remains a force to be reckoned with, both on the battlefield and in the strategic arena. For decades, its military prowess has shaped global power dynamics, and even now, America's defense capabilities are unmatched. But what truly sets the U.S. apart isn't just its sheer strength, it's the ability to adapt, to evolve, and to prepare for the unknown. In a world where new threats emerge daily, America's focus on innovation could be the key to staying ahead. Peter Zihan, a leading voice in geopolitics, recently shed light on how the U.S. military's approach to intelligence has evolved in response to the war on terror. As he explains, America's strategic shift reflects its ability to learn from the past while preparing for the challenges of tomorrow. Let's hear directly from him. I'm happy to say that I am doing some work with the Defense Department. I can't talk about the details, obviously, but um, I think it's good to give credit where it's due. Uh, one of the many, many things about the war on terror that reshaped the U.S. government is that we focus all of our intelligence apparatus on supporting the troops, which is reasonable. Uh, so instead of thinking, you know, it's 2045 and you're thinking over the horizon, who's our foe going to be and what kind of tank are they going to use so that we can start preparing? which is what we used to do. It instead became, there's someone in on the other side of this door in the third floor of this building at the edge of town in Fallujah. What side of the door the hinges are? Because we need to know if we need to blow it off the hinges or kick it in. So we focused all on that second thing for 20 years, which meant not only did we lose all the analysts who knew how to think forward, we lost all the people who trained them. As we've seen, the U.S. military's focus during the War on Terror was driven by immediate tactical needs. However, recognizing the importance of long-term strategy has been key to maintaining America's edge. In fact, the U.S. government has already started taking steps to rebuild its capacity for future planning, acknowledging the need to anticipate threats before they arise. Let's hear more about this shift from the recent discussion. 20 years is a long time. So even if everyone in DOD or the intelligence community disagrees with everything I have to say, and I have some friends, I have some colleagues, I have some non-friends who listen, the fact that they're trying to rebuild that capacity is a really good sign. And the fact that they started rebuilding that capacity so soon after the war on terror ended means that they recognize the hole in the system. This, this is a good sign. As Peter Zihan has highlighted, China's geopolitical ambitions face numerous challenges, while China's internal issues and global dependencies threaten its rise, there's another factor causing sleepless nights for Chinese military planners. The technological innovations coming out of the United States, particularly in military hardware, are redefining the Indo-Pacific power dynamics. One such game changer is the U.S. Navy's new missile, designed to be launched from the F-18 Super Hornet. This missile has the potential to turn the balance of power against China and ensure U.S. dominance in the region for years to come. China has long harbored ambitions to become the world's leading superpower by 2049, but a recent development threatens to turn President Xi Jinping's China dream into a nightmare. The United States has revealed a new missile for its F-18 Super Hornet jets, and its capabilities could derail Beijing's rise and seriously disrupt the balance of power in the Indo-Pacific. This missile isn't just another weapon. It's a strategic breakthrough that could unravel China's military ambitions. While China has made significant strides in modernizing its military, transitioning from outdated equipment to more advanced systems, it still struggles to match the technological sophistication of the United States. Although China has built thousands of ballistic and cruise missiles that could pose a threat to U.S. Navy carrier groups, these weapons depend on fragile and complex systems known as kill chains. The U.S. military is becoming increasingly adept at disrupting these kill chains, allowing American forces to maintain a strong presence in the region. China's geographical proximity to potential conflict zones may seem like an advantage, but it also makes its forces vulnerable to rapid U.S. counterattacks. In the event of a military confrontation, the United States' technological superiority and innovative weapon systems, such as the newly developed AM. 174B missile give it a significant edge. This missile, now operationally deployed, boasts capabilities that outmatch China's current technology and could prove decisive in any conflict. China's recent developments in undersea warfare with the planned introduction of the Type 095 and 096 submarines aim to challenge U.S. naval dominance. 
However, the United States continues to hold a significant advantage beneath the waves, with its fleet of nuclear submarines maintaining unmatched stealth and deadly precision. No matter how advanced China's submarines become, the U.S. Navy remains a formidable force in undersea warfare, ready to neutralize any threat. The hypersonic missile race is another arena where China seeks to compete. China's PL-17 missile, designed to be launched from fighter jets, is a notable attempt to challenge U.S. air superiority. While the PL-17 has impressive features, such as its dual-pulse solid rocket motor and lofted trajectory, it is vulnerable due to the complexity of its kill chain. This missile depends on a series of precise steps to detect, track, and engage its target, which can be disrupted at multiple stages. If any part of the kill chain fails, whether it's the passive radar sensors, offboard targeting data, or the active seeker, the missile loses effectiveness. The United States, aware of these vulnerabilities, has not only mastered the art of disrupting kill chains, but has developed new systems to exploit these weaknesses. During the 2024 Rim of the Pacific, also known as Rim Pack exercises, US F-18 Super Hornets were seen equipped with an unusual new missile that has left military experts speculating. This new missile, thought to be an aircraft-launched version of the SM-6, could be a game-changer in aerial combat. The SM-6 has already proven itself as a multi-domain missile, capable of engaging air, ship, and missile targets, and its air-launched version is expected to expand these capabilities even further. What makes the SM-6, and its air-launched counterpart, so terrifying for China is its versatility and range. With a reach of 230 miles and a speed of Mach 3, this missile outperforms China's PL-15 and is at least on par with the PL-17. Its high-resolution seeker allows it to engage targets beyond the radar range of its launch platform thanks to its integration with other systems such as Aegis-equipped ships and AWACS aircraft. This networked approach ensures that the missile can be guided to high-value targets, even those that are beyond the direct reach of the launching aircraft. Perhaps even more importantly, the SM-6 has the potential to counter China's advanced AWACS aircraft, which are crucial for coordinating and directing its missile forces. By disabling or destroying these airborne command centers, the U.S. military can effectively neutralize China's ability to launch coordinated strikes. The SM-6's ability to disrupt China's kill chain capabilities makes it a formidable tool in maintaining U.S. air superiority. The fact that the SM-6 has already been in service for over a decade gives the U.S. an additional advantage. Unlike newer systems that require extensive development and production time, the U.S. already has the industrial capacity to produce these missiles at scale. This could prove critical in a prolonged conflict, where ammunition depletion can become a significant factor, as has been demonstrated in the war in Ukraine. While China's military advancements are not to be underestimated, the introduction of the AIM-174B missile by the United States has dramatically shifted the strategic landscape. This missile, with its superior range, precision, and kill chain disruption capabilities, positions the U.S. to counter any aggressive moves from China in the Indo-Pacific region. The balance of power is shifting, and this new missile may very well be the key to ensuring that China's ambitions of global dominance remain just that, a dream. If you found this breakdown insightful, don't forget to like and share the video. For more in-depth analysis on global military developments, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching.